Today is Tuesday, and I'm home with the kids because Brian went to um, a site walk in LA, and I'm loving how these kids are just chilling by themselves, and they have each other, so they're totally like entertained. They don't need mama, and every now and then when I look over, they're just like curious and you know in that corner and every single corner trying to like um discover everything but anyway um now that they see me kind of like peeking in oh my god i just noticed this scooper used the permanent marker on these chairs i can't even deal with him oh my god now i have to clean Hopefully it'll come off. I don't know how. I'm not even gonna deal with these chairs. Okay, so um, <clears throat> my boys, independent boys, there's two of them, so much more easier to entertain. And um, you know, let me put this camera here and like do their thing. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here, so let's let's put it right here. Yeah. Um, this morning. I woke up pretty angry at Brian because, like, when am I never angry at him these days? I think I'm just, like, constantly, like, Gah! you know? Because last night, you know, when I went to go eat with my friend Kimmy, he was like, oh, yeah, um, go go eat with, uh, with your friend or just go out and I'll take care of the twins. I'm like, okay. So I decided to go out. I had a craving for like sushi and there's no good sushi around here. And so I was like, okay, let, let me see if I should do ramen or I just wanted to get out after I pick up Scooper. And so I went out with my friend. Sushi was so, it was so gross. It was so disgusting. I, I spat it out. I was like, I can't do uni like this. I can't do the um, raw shrimp like this. I just can't do the, the salmon belly. Ooh, it was just so bad um or maybe because i'm just so spoiled with the sushi that i've been um eating which is like sugar fish or like some omakase restaurants where it's like really you know high quality or my uni that i ate the other day um yeah it's just going from here to here i just can't bring it down and i just like yeah it was not good so um <clears throat> I had to wash it down with some wine and I needed a breather so I uh, drank a bottle myself. I had a cup with him actually. And um, we came home and he was like all stressed because you know, taking care of the two kids. I literally left for only two hours and he was already dying. And I'm thinking to myself, like what? what's the deal? Like, you know, he always says to me, it's it's so easy to take care of the twins, you know. I have to work all day. You you, you don't you you just you know take care of them here and there. And just leave them alone. Let them, let them roam and they'll be okay. But I'm like, if it's so easy, then why 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 are you so stressed right now? You know, like he like super was like, oh my god, tired. And on top of that, he put the kids down at eight something, eight thirty, when they're supposed to be down at like seven thirty. I literally left the house at six. You only had one hour, like. I don't know. I can't even deal with him. So um, I uh, went to sleep and then woke up this morning around 3 a.m. and told him to go to sleep because I was like, I don't want to deal with you not having enough sleep and then not waking up in time to take care of Scooper. Because Scooper wakes up at 6 o'clock. You can't possibly work till 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning and not getting any sleep and then expect to like, you know, me to take over. Because, you know, I'm just like... There's only a certain point where I'm okay with it. So I'm like, okay. Made him go to sleep. He got a good, like, four hours of sleep. That's still more than what I got. Because, you know, he slept around, like, 10 p.m. to, like, 12 a.m. I went to sleep from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. And I made him sleep from 3 to, like, 6. And the moment Scooper wakes up every single day, naturally, if I drink or not, I wake up at 6.30 a.m. And I tell BK, go go take care of your kid. There's one thing you got to do. Actually, not one thing. A few things. You have to do, number one, potty training, okay? If he doesn't get potty trained, he can't move up class in his um, school, right? 
or his daycare or whatever. And number two, you gotta brush his teeth. And number three, feed him, right? And it's like simple things. With the twins, it's like I got my hands full in the morning and sometimes they cry, it gives me a little bit of anxiety. But for the most part, I'm kind of like, dude, you know, wake up. And he just like would not wake up. And I'm like just like really annoyed. And then he was like, you know, um, I do help out a lot. I just don't think you understand that, um, that, or you don't see that I um, help out. And I'm like, okay, really? Because last I checked, it was just me running this ship by myself. And he thinks I'm delusional. And I'm like, okay, am I delusional? You know? So I started to tally up some points just so he knows. I was so upset. I was like, you honestly think that you do some work with these kids without me asking or nagging? And he's like, yeah, you go on shows on the weekends and I take care of them. Or like when you're butt drunk, I take care of them. I was like, yeah, because, okay. On the weekends, because it's like once in a blue moon, and um, when I drink, it's kind of like I need a breather. So, because of you working all day and I'm taking care of the kids, I need a breather. So, that's why I drink. I wouldn't drink so much if I had a little bit of assistance. So, anyways, complains I drink and get knocked out at night. I'm like, okay, if I knock out at night, it's okay because the babies don't even wake up at night. So, what's the deal? After I put the babies down, there are a few nights where I'm kind of like, okay, I need a breather. I need to, like, sleep. And I don't even sleep well. So when I drink, I sleep well. And I wake up exactly at 6.30 every single morning, right? So he's like, oh, whenever sometimes you're knocked out, I have to take care of the kids. And I'm like, well, you know what? This is the, this is the setup that you wanted in the first place. Not that mommy doesn't want you guys. Mommy loves both of you guys. But this is a setup. It's like you want to play ball. But you want to play with me, and I don't really care for sports, and you throw the ball at me, and now it's like we're supposed to be on a team, and I'm just juggling the balls by myself, and every now and then, you'll catch the ball, only to throw it back at me and then go play on a different team. You know? It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yes, it is. He's smiling. So, um... I mean, I have, like, these crazy moments where I'm just, like, I can't deal with him. Like, you know, it just drives me nuts. And it's very constant because I feel like he honestly gaslights me. Like, he says that he does help out the kids. And I'm thinking to myself, did you? Because I could have sworn I did. So, <laughs> got really upset with him. Always give him the silent treatment. Even though I said I was going to try to be nice. But it's just so difficult going through this process when he's just like constantly swindling me. Oh. Oh, okay, baby. Oh my goodness. You fell. He doesn't really know how to sit up yet. So when I left, he just kind of like, he just kind of like fell. Oh, Sky. But Rain can sit up. He can't crawl as well as Sky though. But it's okay. It is about feeding time soon. So mama's got to get, um, Get these boys all situated. Make sure that they're gonna be eating. Okay, well, um, I just wanna show you guys, okay? And for the most part, my husband, yes, he's busy, he's working, I get it. And Kimmy was giving me some advice like, oh, you know, why don't you just throw out the 100% thing and just, you know, if he's not gonna change, you just do you, because he's gonna do the same thing anyway, and you're just gonna drive yourself crazy. And I'm like, well, if I do that, I let him get away with it. I'm throwing trash. So, um, it's just hard for me to, like, say, okay, I'll take care of everything, even though I'm already doing it. But she's saying do it with a happy face, and I'm, like, legit doing it with a upsetting situation. My sister said that to me a long time ago too. When I used to get mad at Brian about cleaning up and like not putting his, sh his stuff away, all his food, he just leaves around, just trash. And she's like, you know what, I mean, just let it go. You won't do it, you do it, and just, you won't be, a, be as stressed. But I'm like, but if I do that, he, he'll get away with it. He'll, he'll continue to push me. He's like, he's already doing it. I'm like, yeah, but if I continue to like go ham at him, Maybe we'll stress him out, give him a little bit of itch, you know? Anyways, 
this is the tally that I came up with, okay? In the morning, 6 a.m., we have Brian taking care of Scooper, Potty, and eating. But the reason why I even gave him a point is because I legit was like, go take care of him. Because if I don't, he's not going to do it. So that's for him. And here, me. Me, me for food, diapers. And there's one right here. You know why this is even here as a feeding? Because I was mad at him. I wasn't talking to him all morning, so he decided to come over and say, oh, here, let me feed the baby. And I'm like, I'm fine, I don't need you. And then he went and took a bottle for, for Sky. So that's why he was able to get a point in. But as you can see, I tallied since this morning at five, I started working for the babies at 5.30 a.m., okay? Okay? Right now, it's about 12, and it's gonna be a feeding. I'm gonna write this down. So, you, so he can see that he's definitely gaslighting me. He's like, I help out the babies here and then blah, blah, blah. I was like, he's not even here to help out. Not even here. Gone. Work. Playing on a different team. And I get, everyone's like, oh, he has to work, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, then if he has to work, why did he even come up with the whole, I'll take care of the kids 100%. Everyone says, yeah, man, the only person who believed him was you. But it's like, you know, I'm like not letting it go like I will not let it go so <clears throat> anyways I'm gonna write down 12 p.m. is when I'm feeding the kids actually I won't even write it down yet until I feed the kids just so that I'm not you know cheating like how he is he makes me feel like I think to myself hmm did he did he change the diapers because I don't remember and then he'll do it once and he'll be like oh look at me I did it I did it, I'm like, it doesn't count for like the 99 times you didn't do it. Anyways, um, but I do know that he does push me. And I asked him like over the weekend, like, do you constantly push me every single time when you see that I'm doing it? You see that I do it, so you just kind of like, yeah, she's going to do it. He's like, yeah, I do, because you know, you... If you're already doing it, so why should I? And I'm like, well, because sometimes if you see me struggling, I'd like a little assistance. That's all. And for like just five minutes. Okay, anyways. And I know he's going through a lot of contracts right now with his workers and blah, 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 and he's got to work. But that's something you set yourself up for. You can't set me for something up that I didn't really, you know, want. And then, like, let me roll with it. Like, you know? I'm sp he's supposed to be like, you know, I, I, I wanted this. I set this up. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to, like, do what I planned on doing. Just like KEC. You plan to have your own company. You plan to do all that stuff. And you should freaking take care of your employees and take care of your kids. There's a balancing situation that he has to learn. A balancing act. You know? Juggling. I mean, it's not like I... It's not like I freaking like, you know, sing in the studio anymore, you know? Make some sacrifices for these kids. And it's, it's really, really frustrating because it's like, I don't want to think like, I don't care about the kids or I don't love them because I do. But I get to a certain point where I'm like, some small things you can help me out with. Like for example, the smallest thing, I can think of right now is like, okay, if they're both crying at the same time, that drives me nuts. As a mom, that drives me nuts. Okay, so if you know that we have, there's two of us and there's two of them, you know, we tag team. We tag team and then we divide and conquer. Take care of one baby, bottle feed, and the other one at the same time. So you know, they're like going crazy, okay? But like, if you just let me take care of it myself, I'm just gonna like, six, seven, eight, see, I don't remember how much milk I have put, see, my brain's just like shut down. Anyways, if we feed the babies at the same time, I get to relax, you get to relax, whatnot. 
If the babies don't cry at the same time, I'm okay. I can feed one after another. But like just in that moment of like just five minutes, can you just hold the bottle? He has two hands and he acts like he doesn't know how to use it. But then like, he's a right hand person. He can write. And one day he was like, I don't know what to do with the left hand. I'm gonna make use of it. I'm gonna start eating with my left hand. Make use of you hand. But now it's like, all of a sudden his hand is like useless. Doesn't even know how to use it. I'm like, grab a bottle and feed the baby. That's it. It's five minutes. It's five minutes. It's that easy. Help me out. Every now and then, just give me a little bit of... Uh, give me your hand, you know? <sighs> I know, I know you're hungry. Uh-huh, okay, okay. So, for the most part, these babies are on the same schedule, but sometimes they get off. And if they're off, and it's like late night, and I've like done all day of like caring for them, the, the least is like, at least the last meal, like, come on, help me out here. They go down at 7.30, we both feed them exactly at the same time, and we're free. We're free for the rest of the night, except for Scooper. But like, Jesus Christ, he just lays there, falls asleep, and I'm like, okay, you're not even working. There are times when I'm like, okay, I'll let it go when he's actually in deep work, but when he's in deep sleep while I'm sitting here trying to feed the babies, I'm like, dead. And I just want to choke him. But anyways, yeah, I just can't, I can't get past letting him get away with it. And I do find myself, like when I'm upset with him, I take care of the babies well because I don't have expectations. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm fine. I don't need you. I got this. And when the babies cry, it's not even as crazy. So for the most part, I feel like he is feeding my, my craziness. But when we get along and then he doesn't help me, I'm kind of like, dude, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I'll cook some food and I'll have two bottles ready for babies to eat. Brian would go eat the food, but he'll feed himself and he won't feed the babies. And I'm like, oh my God, for God's sakes, just pick up a bottle, hold it like this. There's nothing else. Like, that's it. Huh, you're hungry too. Yeah, I know. But anyway, I mean, right now, I'm good because I, I don't have expectations for, like, him to take care of the kids now because he's not here. But, like, when I'm, like, on some sort of stress level, which I do go up and down and I peak here and there, depending on how the babies react to me, then, yes, I need a little bit of, you know, TLC, Okay. I know Sky is hungry too, and Rain usually gets to eat first because he makes the loudest noise. And he, he sometimes he takes advantage of me like his dad, you know, just kind of sits there in Mama's lap and takes his precious time while Sky is like, "Hurry up, I'm hungry." So yeah. Anyways, um, we got this, okay? We got this, the three of us. Until your dad gets home, and then mama continues to go ham at it again. But yeah, we're gonna tally up the scores. By end of day, I will show you the situation. Okay, I know, I know. I know. All right, so um, we have Sky in the bottle now. I had to split because he was getting a little crazy. I had to put um, Rain down on the chair. He's chilling. So he got about a good four ounces. They usually do eight, but we gotta split because gotta like um, juggle both of them and make sure that they're content and happy. And yeah, I don't have like a favorite. So I wanna make sure that, you know, I, I got them both and like take care of them and make sure that they're, they're happy. So I don't. I don't tend to like um, choose one or the other, like pick up, if I pick up um, Rain first, the next time I'll pick up Sky, and then vice versa, make sure that they both have the same amount of treatment. <sighs> so once he finished this, then I'm going to go grab another bottle and then split it again with them. That's how I, um... oh, 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 
And this guy likes to jump. He's, he's very, he's a curious one. He wants to be held, but then super like jumpy. <laughs> you wanna see the world, huh? Okay, okay. Anyway. Yeah, this, <clears throat> this life is definitely a fast one. I know, Gong. I know. Okay, what do you want? You want a diaper change? What do you want? Goodness, you want to eat? Now you're like, you just want to sit here? Huh? They are, um, nine months. Um, two days ago. Today's July 12, 2022. And, um, they're going so fast. I know the first year is difficult. And, um, they're starting to get a lot better in terms of like needing mommy or daddy. I think the most difficult baby is Brian, to be quite honest. He says I'm the most difficult out of the, all of us, but okay, okay. I don't think I would be as difficult if he wasn't difficult, so yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna feed um, Sky and then change diaper. This guy's like, what's going on over there? <laughs> so curious. Are you gonna eat or what? You've been like, you've been like wanting to be here and then you don't wanna eat. Okay, okay, okay. So, my husband is home. He went to a meeting in LA and since I'm at home playing house, I made him go out and get me some sushi because Sushi is good only in LA. He's kind of like, I have so much work. And I was like, well, you know what? You got a wife to feed at home, so you might as well just go get some food for your wife. So, I'm trying to be all snappy since he's making me, you know, take full responsibility for these kids. He's not going to get away with it. Just to let you know. Anyways, he came back with some stuff. Okay, I didn't ask for this, but, um,. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then he got this. I have no idea why he would get this. This is a half moon tray. Then he got some. This is very interesting. He does not buy stuff like this, but I guess um, he got creative and then he got this. So this stuff is so good. We've been replacing this with our ramen noodles and like udon for hot pot so it's really good he picked it up like one time we were at the ranch market just browsing and um we've been using it since i'm not sure the difference oh this one's thin and this one's thick so once again these are yummies and i don't know why he bought carbs because i'm supposed to be on a diet but it's okay um i'm gonna guess the reason why he browse around the market is because this place when you go get their sushi it's like a fish market and you you kind of you know buy their fish and they cut it for you so you kind of have to wait and so maybe when he was waiting he browsed the market and bought some stuff so yeah it's called yama seafood and um okay it looks like he ordered a lot of stuff look at that I wonder who's waiting around. So, um, let's see what he got. Let's see what he got. He got, um, fresh, um, wasabi. I love his stuff. And he got me uni. I told him not to, but he did. And then, ooh, got this. So it looks like tuna, yellow, yellow, um, fin, and salmon, Scottish salmon. Then he got another batch. Let's see. I'm not sure. I'm gonna say that it's albacore, one or the other. So the same thing, salmon, tuna. I'm just gonna ask him, you know? It's okay. And they gave you lots of soy sauce to go with your um, 
dish. So I'm gonna wait for him and then see what he says about this stuff. But for now, let's enjoy. So I went ahead and had a bite and I know my favorites. I put it back in because I'm gonna enjoy it with Brian later. So we can do it together. I was gonna do it alone, but then I'm like, okay, you know what, fine, we'll do it together. And um, he's in a meeting right now, so I put the baby on his lap and he's holding. <laughs> Every single time he's in a meeting, it works. Let's try something else. Let's see if he will hold this. <laughs> Mama tried. All right, about a good two hours later. <laughs> this meeting is done. Oh, you didn't even eat yet? I just had a bite, but I put it away to wait for you. Give me this barely any. That's all they gave us? I mean, I, I had a few seen. bites. Oh my god. Oh, uh, but there, there's like three more packages, weren't there? What do you mean three more? This is it. Oh, they barely gave us any. I felt like I spent more money. How much is this thin? Oh, uh, 100 something? 100 something? I told you not to get the uni. Well, I tried a different thing. Probably like 180. Because 80 bucks alone was the uni, and the rest of this, like 100. Okay, so um, I had a bite. And I can tell you what I like and what I, you know, what put it to different so rankings. Had, is that all they gave? It's so small. I mean, I had three bites. Okay. This is Toro. Yeah. And this is no, Scottish. Ahi, Toro, Scottish Salmon, mm -hmm. um, Bluefin. Uh huh. And I think it's Ahi again. Uh huh. They just, it was just baby Salmon again. And then yellow And then yellow tail. Okay. You will have a bite and let me know. Mine. Rice is re ready. What's up with the dish? That was where the salmon was. It was gonna be fancy. Are you trying to be fancy? And fancy. Okay, let's try the salmon. So you have Sky sitting over there, roaming. We'll be fed in a few. Okay. Not bad. A little fishier than what we usually get. You know when we get the frozen, the cut frozen ourselves? ones? Okay. And cut ourselves, it's a little fishier. I had them already, so I know exactly what I like and what I kind of don't like. I mean, they're all really good, but I do have a favorite. Toro's fine. Which I, I, I found to be very surprising. Why are you smelling it? I mean, shouldn't it already smell like right away? You don't it have to smell. smell. But that's what I'm saying. You already should know, like, if it smells. It doesn't. How was the market? You didn't even take any it's photos like, to show me what it looks like? I was so excited just to send him. And he was all like, oh, I don't have to go. I have to go back to work. And I was like, just go, my goodness. I'm gonna have a little bit of the uni with the um, Costco um, seaweed and brown rice. I think this is quite small. So more expensive than um, okay. Myra Hyde. Yeah, that's small for 80 bucks, huh? Yeah, that's why I said don't get up at it looked bigger on the thing, but mm -hmm. barely gave us anything. It's Santa Barbara also, so. Did it come in today or how many days? They said delivered daily, but they didn't say this was daily. Oh my. Okay, so I would say at this market, the freshest tasting is probably the ahi, which is from Hawaii, and then and the yellowtail, I don't know what that's from. So mm -hmm. those seem the freshest. Salmon tastes normal, it's good, but what we usually get it from is a little fresher. This isn't bad, it's still mm -hmm. good, but I get a little bit of fish taste mm -hmm. here. The Toro is good, it's normal, not mm -hmm. that fishy. None of them are fishy, mm -hmm. fishy, but this tastes the fishiest, the um, bluefin. But yeah, I, I think uh, they're good. I like the yellowtail and the uh, ahi, probably. I think I would agree with you. I enjoy the um, yellowtail and the ahi. I did enjoy the toro, which I was surprised because I never enjoy the toro, the fatty tuna. It's the most buttery out of all of them, but it does leave me that ending taste that I don't like, like that fishy taste. I think that if it didn't have that, then I would think that would be the best. Surprisingly, 
I like the blue curl. I don't mind the blue fin. I think the blue fin's okay. It just has a, a, a like a, a harder texture. Yeah, it's hard. Which I'm okay with because it it changes up the palette. So with soy sauce, it tastes no fishy at all. Mm -hmm. So the salmon's zero fish. Mm -hmm. so. But the salmon, for for sure, I was kind of surprised. I was thinking the salmon was gonna be like my number one go-to, but it turns out that the ahi and then the yeah, um, yellow towel was. Yeah, so surprisingly good. Uni is actually not bad either. Definitely, it's more expensive than. Yeah, for when you get yeah. eighty bucks. Mm -hmm. Man, husband doesn't listen to me. He goes off in his own little world. Like eight dollars for a little sliver. I already said the reason why Uni is well, expensive is uh. I wonder the efforts. It, but, but the other place in Long Beach is much cheaper. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You get a lot more with the texture. Probably the blue fin is the one that's not buttery, so mm -hmm. probably the worst. I was thinking of the bluefin and the fatty tuna because the fatty tuna, I like the buttery, but that end taste, like the aftertaste, just throws it off. I don't know why people like that aftertaste, but this is the least stinky I've had for Toro. It's good. Mm -hmm. I think I still like the other place better, especially mm -hmm. the one with the water. Mm -hmm. I'd probably go to the other one because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. You get a lot more. I think it's $120. Mm -hmm. This is $80. But you get double, mm -hmm. at least double on the other one for 120 bucks. Yeah, take the whole rice. I just want. No, to I, I could taste the average taste. This um, the other one is better. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not bad. But. The yellow tail is really refreshing. I didn't think I would like the ahi tuna, but this place is pretty good. I like it. I shouldn't even like treat myself to all you can eat sushi in East Bell. It's the worst. I die. Kimmy's like, just, just eat it. I'm like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it to myself. <laughs> That's all you can eat? Mm-hmm. Do they have um, spider rolls there? Mm-hmm. I probably like it. I like spider rolls. But everything really was imitation crab. Order it without imitation. Okay, boy. I know. I know. You want attention. Join us for a little bit. Yeah, but it's pretty small for um, hundred something dollars of food. I think right? if you didn't buy the uni, then it'd be fine. Yesterday well, I spent hundred no, bucks for all you can eat, and it was no, like I'm saying, crappy. Without the uni, it's still hundred bucks. Well, yeah, because you had the the toro. The toro was what? Probably eighty. Eighty bucks a pound. I mean, yeah, I think you got like. This was also expensive. The cheapest was a salmon. Mm -hmm. Salmon was thirty-two. Yeah. Were but they the, um, nice? But the toro and the yeah, they're very nice. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the toro and the bluefin. Was the most expensive. I like it better than the rolls for sure. I mean, because you're coming from yesterday. Yeah. Usually I don't like tuna. I'm okay with the tuna here. You want some? I don't mind the bluefin as much as I mind the toro smell. You know what smell I'm talking about? I don't know if it's a smell or it's just really fatty. Mm. So you don't and like it? I like how it tastes, like the texture, like when you initially put it in your mouth, but then. After like a good two seconds, there's that fishy or super fatty taste. I'm not sure I feel good about. I think it's fine. You're so sweet. But it tastes, it's fishy. That's what I, I meant. That fishy taste. None of them smell like fish fish to me, but that, mm. that one does. This one does. The bluefin does. I think the bluefin is not as fishy as this. No. Even the salmon, that, I mean, hides it with the... Sauce, but compared to the salmon we've been buying, it has a smell. And, uh, it's all sushi quality. I'm just saying. You didn't buy any rolls there. You didn't weren't interested in any rolls. No. Like, it's all refrigerated and whatever. So mm -hmm. next time I'll go by myself. I'm excited to see other stuff there. You didn't take any photos. Mm. It's just unbelievable how it just. A store excites me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <He's> Shopping. <laughs> like you get to go. I get to stay home and take care of the kids. What is it like over there? <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna finish up, enjoy, and um, continue. Continue with the boys. Can you turn off here. <clears throat> we stopped by um, Yoshiharo Ramen because this guy likes noodles and some rice I suppose I'll just have his soup this is just a breather for mama to get out you know helps with my sanity a bit I, dates I with water. little kiwo water. yeah no it's for chicken you're gonna get chicken okay dates with mommy you're um, 
officially my new date partner, okay? Daddy has been replaced. Definitely an upgrade from Brian. We're going to get... Thank, okay, thank you. All right, we have our ramen right here. You want some ramen? Okay, okay. And of course, we went straight for the rice and we got some chicken for him. Good job, baby. Yay. Yummy, huh? Yummy? Thumbs up. Yay. Look at him, my gosh. Where's the pig? Yeah. Look how cute those pigs are. So cute. Scooper is my little piggy as well. Ah. Wow, noodles. What is it? What? And then the chicken. Okay, where's the pig? 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 Scooper's still going strong at home with the chicken and rice and noodles. Mommy's happy. Brian tried to put it away so he could eat it later himself. And Scooper went over there and took it back. That's right. You have been replaced. Can you get my purple blue drink? Am I going to have to tally that up too? Here, Your Highness. This okay. So much work you're getting done. Wow, look at my petty, petty husband. <laughs> he saw that I made this tally list and he was like, wait a minute, how come I don't see my name on here when I was holding the baby? I was like, that doesn't count. Doesn't count at all because I handed you the baby in a meeting. And then now he's like, I gotta make the list before the night ends. So he took the baby from me, fighting me for the baby. Okay, okay. And then start doing extra. Okay, sure. Sure. He, he only made the list twice, which is wake up for Scooper and then feed baby. Once today. Not even to ever change. Come on, Scooper. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna shower him. Scooper, go. Come on, Ryan. Then we have um, Rain over here. Who also needs to get fed? I'm on it. <laughs> Hi, honey. Just hanging out by yourself. It's so cute. He's just legit, just hanging out by himself. Okay. All right. Um, I'll give you a call back. Why night? I'm not doing water anymore. Okay, whatever. What are you doing then? Nothing. Just water. Water? Come on now. Give me a break. I had too much fun the other night. It's almost hump day. <laughs> okay, come on, Scoops. I smell poop. Okay, call you later. Bye. Bye. End of night. Here. I just want to let you know, this is what goes in my... Our days, okay? Oh my gosh. Tally up what that? the what scores. That? And what I that? have done what at least, what this that? is not counting the stuff that what in that? between. What's that? 27 Sauce. diapers and feeds. What? Diaper, feed, Pop diaper, smart. feed, all that good stuff. And I only see Brian on here three times. And that's because it was forced by my what? nagging. Yeah, and second, by him what trying to get on this tally, get on this list, okay? What's that? What's that? 27. So you're saying I do 10% of the work? I'll take 10% because the other day you said 15 yourself. What's that? What's that? I said more than 15. Okay, did you count the days when you were gone? <laughs> days in a row? Babe. You choose a day when I go to a site visit. I didn't even know you were in a site visit. And even if you were, okay, you know, I can so even choose a regular day. Okay, so, yeah. Did you count the score for, um, you know, Sunday? What Sunday? This past Sunday. What's this past Sunday? Oh, yeah, you weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? 
<laughs> if I went to a show, it's different. Well, I wouldn't, it would work. <laughs> and it's one in a blue moon. I don't get this guy. <laughs> and why am I even doing it if this is 100%? <laughs> I don't get it. This is a very small list of what really goes on. And I put him on blast. That's why he tried to get on this list. You're delusional. <laughs> okay, let's do this list every single day, and whoever's on this list more gets something. What shall we okay. offer on the table? Are you also gonna put your timesheet in? My timesheet for what? Your work. This is my work. Oh, that's your work? Yeah. Then how come you're expecting more if that's your work? This is what I do to help you. It's not even work, it's actually philanthropy. <laughs> So how about the hours when I do work? What does that count? Yeah. That's not in my world, okay? You said you need to learn how to balance between two. Figure it out. I don't know. How you balance? How do I balance? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing way more. 27 on the list and you're only three times. So what, what percent of time are you taking baby? What percent of time are you working? What do you mean? Yeah, what would you say, 50-50? Me working? Yeah, we're just taking care of baby. Well, since you oh. say I work on the weekends all day, you tell me. Yeah. You tell me. You say that Not you much. take care of the kids on the weekends all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the percentage of that? You're doing very little to nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mommy, that? what's that? What's that? I don't know, ask your dad. Daddy. Maybe he can help you out so with the lies. Anyway, work is not considered part of this family unit thing. Then how come you're calling this work then? This Daddy. is not work, I just told you. It's philanthropy. Pay attention. Daddy. Okay. Mommy, what's that? It's a list of things that mommy do for you out of love. <laughs> what's that? What's that? It's soy sauce, honey. Soy sauce. Okay, it's almost time for him to go to sleep. No, no, no. Yes, it is. We enjoyed our date together. Brian's being replaced by little Mr. Ewo. So I think every now and then I'll take him out. I feel like he has a, a good moment with me and he kind of like eats his food. When he's here, he's always he's like you running up. around. Running around. Who takes you out? He takes me out. With yeah. what car? Is he driving? Are you that delusional too? No, but he's giving me an opportunity to go out. Excuse me? Okay, whatever you think. See? So what were you doing when you were out, by the way? I was feeding him. And what was I doing? You were sleeping. You left the baby. No. Okay, the babies were in the in the chairs the same way I left them when I picked him up and when I came home. Okay, no, I took care of the baby. No, you didn't. I did. You telling me you took the babies out of the chair? No, I didn't. I still took care of them. <laughs> How so? Oh, I left them. You were falling asleep here. Okay, you left them going to the bathroom in the hard tile. I had to drag them back in. Uh-uh. Yes, you did. Uh-uh. Yeah, you did. I keep telling you, put up the pillow, and you don't. And he keeps falling and smashing his head. I have um, the gates coming in, so it'll be blocked off. But I don't have the head all around my head, okay? If you see it, then you should figure it out. Did you put that on the list? What do you mean? <laughs> the one thing that you thought you did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Clearly, he's delusional. Work. Okay, Scoops. Yeah. It's almost bedtime. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Stop yeah. saying no. Um, earlier, we were playing Yay. with each other. That's not on the list, by the way, but I do spend my time playing with him. Brian just came out to eat. He came out from his room, from his meetings, or whatever he's doing. And me and Scooper were playing, and he banged my head right here. And then he hit his head, too. Scooper, let me see your head. Owie, look at that. Look at that owie on his forehead. Because he hit butt me. Mm. Alright, so that is the end of the night. Um, yeah, this just proves that he was gaslighting me the whole time. Okay? Very selective in your study. Daddy. <laughs> this is not a study. This is proven facts. Now you need to document the hours. What? <laughs> Are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Every hour. Okay. That's not what we agreed yes. on, okay? Yes. 
You and your work. Am I the one drinking, going out? No. I only drink when the kids are down. Have I drank yeah, today? Didn't. This whole week you've been out drinking, partying. At night. And when I was, oh, me, never. At night. Okay, never. Did you have a glass of wine with me last night? Oh, yeah, I remember. I had one-fifth of a glass. You finished the whole bottle. Yeah, because you stressed me out. Oh, my God. The whole bottle by yourself. That's it. You're an alcoholic. Yes. I'll take it. I only had a sip because you poured it out. Is that right? I'll take a sip. Okay, for and someone who calls me an alcoholic, went to go buy me some sake. Because I, because you sent me over there to a Japanese place, and so you have sushi with sake. I saw that. I was like, you know what? I'll buy you a treat. Oh, <laughs> you can buy me mm -hmm. a treat. Well, I'm not a drinker. Okay. Well, where's my treat then? You think it's self serve? After all I've done for you today? What are you talking about? You got to suck it. <laughs> Don't even get sexual with me. Okay, good night. Good night. Bye.